Good morning, family. I want to thank God. I want to thank King Jesus. I want to thank the Holy Spirit and the angels for another day, another opportunity to be here with you to spread love, peace, joy, truth, and hope to all who are watching. Praise God. So, family, you know, before I started healing, I was full of pride and I was wearing masks and, and I was in denial, you know, about a lot of things about myself. And, you know, and I could I could uh, be whatever the situation uh, caused me to be because, you know, I was fake. And, you know, but but once I decided to to get real, I had to rip off those masks and I had to get real with myself and get honest and 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 humble myself and ask for help. And once I did, God said all kind of help, y'all. So, you know, when we humble ourselves and we're willing, you know, to take responsibility for the things we've done, you know, we open ourselves up for healing. But as long as we're, you know, in pride and, and you know, and wearing those masks and denying, you know, that, that we have issues, you know, you'll never heal. But once you, you know, you like I say, you rip those masks off and you open yourself up to healing, you know, and take responsibility. God will send the cavalry, y'all, because he sent the cavalry. And, you know, and I've been on a healing mission for, for a long time. So, you know, you can heal as well. But, you know, we have to get out of the, the denial. You know, we have to get out of the pride. You know, we have to be humble, and, you know, be willing, you know, to to uh, be real. And that that way, you know, God will send in the cavalry and we'll start healing. Praise God. That's what we're talking about today. This is this covers uh, step six. It, and also it covers uh, Psalms 51, 16, 16 through 19. Uh, we were entirely ready to have God remove all these defects of character. Hey, we, we all got some type of, type of defective character. That's why, you know, spiritual principles are, are so uh, valuable, you know, important to incorporate in our lives because, you know, those, those are character builders. Praise God. If we have sincerely practiced these previous steps, we have probably found enough pain inside ourselves to break our hearts, facing the fact that brokenness is part of the, of the, is part of the human condition can be crushing. But if we arrive at this point, it is probably a sign that we are ready for God to change us. God to change us. God to heal us. He'll send the cavalry, y'all. But, you know, we have to, you know, uh, have, be ready. You know, if we're full of pride, you know, and, and, and ego, and, and, uh, and, and, and uh, what's another word I'm looking for? And, and, and we're in denial, you know, it's hard for us to heal. So we have to get those things out the way. And then, you know, then we're fertile ground to be healed. Praise God. As a young man, King David wasn't ready for God to change his character because he didn't recognize that it had defects. He prayed, don't let me suffer the fate of sinners. I am not like that. I live with integrity. So redeem me and show me mercy. That's Psalm 26, 9, 11. He approached God on the basis of his own merits. It wasn't until later in life when he was com com it wasn't until later in life he was confident with his sin I'm sorry. It wasn't until later in life he was confronted with his sin of adultery and murder that he was able to say, For I was a I was born a sinner, yes, from the moment my mother conceived me. At Psalms 51 5. He also said, You do not desire a sacrifice, or I would offer one. The sacrifice you desire is a broken spirit. You will not reject a broken and repentant heart, O oh God. That's Psalms 51 16 and 17. So, you know, when we have a broken spirit and a repentant heart, that's fertile ground for God to move in and heal us, y'all. You know, but if, you know, if we don't have that, that broken, you know, we're, we're all broken in some way, but we have to admit it and, you know, and humble ourselves. And then, you know, like I say, you know, then we're open to be healed, start healing. Praise God. Jesus taught that God blesses those who mourn for they will be comforted. That's Matthew 5, 4. God isn't looking for evidence of how good we are or how hard we try he only wants us to mourn over our sins and admit our brokenness. Hey, but, hey, y'all, when we, when we take responsibility and, you know, and, and open up, God will move in. Praise God. Then he will not ignore or, 